it was the market need. Um, the, the capital was needed in the market. Uh, we created a new model of venture capital as a service to activate, in fact, uh, more money in, in European uh, space to finance startups and, and growth companies. And on the other hand, the corporation have a massive need of, of coming together with the startups and cooperating with them, and we enable all of this thing. Helsinki and, and, and Scandinavia is an extremely good place. There's a lot of uh, innovation, uh, deep technical knowledge, and the slush as a happening is an extremely good setup to start with. So it's a combination of multiple factors, but it's not a result of a, of a market study. It was rather a setup which we just created, and it makes sense. The core reason is that the innovation, the te technological development is so fast that no, no corporation can create this all, all R&D in-house and they have to get external impulse. And the most effective way is to invest in independent startups and support them financially and have then the access to them, which then really brings in the best deals and teams and access to the best technologies. I'm very critical. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, you, you should go early stage only as a corporation, only if you don't have the financial power to go in late. So um, it's not the typical type of stuff you want to do in a corporate environment, be too early on, on board, simply because the, the risk position of this thing, about the thinking of that only one out of ten will work out and so on and so forth, so we always propose our, our corporate investors to go in a bit later, which just match better to their portfolio and their expectations. The problem is simply the managing the expectations. So if you have a startup, you on board, it will take three, four, five years before the startup gets to a level that you expect or you think as a corporation. So I mean, if you have a corporation who is doing 20, 30, 40 billion euro revenue and you have a startup who just gets the first 200,000 done in the first year, the gap is massive and it takes quite a lot of time before you get then the impact you're expecting so that you get really innovation, you get learnings, all these kind of things. Well, I, I find it a bit dangerous to say that uh, the CVC business would be like Bitcoin, uh, but it definitely we have a hype momentum at the moment. It's, it's driven by the fact that there are so many disruptors out there and, and established businesses have experienced problems with startups coming into their space. So that drives them into doing this. But I don't see that it would, this would be just, in a, just a boom for a couple of years. It's there to stay, but it's definitely going to be less one day than what it's now. The question is, have we, have we reached the top already? I don't think so. I think there is a lot more to come. And I see it in our business and the requests we get, the amount of uh, companies we're talking to. And, uh, and this gentleman is passing by. <laughs> So um, that's the that's the setup at the moment.